Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Our appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 45. My heart is stirring with a noble song. Let me recite what I have fashioned for the king. My tongue shall be the pen of a skilled writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips because God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior, in your pride and in your majesty. Ride out and conquer in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand will show you marvelous things. Your arrows are very sharp, O mighty warrior. The peoples are falling at your feet and the king's enemies are losing heart. Your throne of God endures forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you and the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia, and the music of strings from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters stand among the ladies of the court. On your right hand is the queen adorned with the gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich and among the people seek your favor. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to the king. After her the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought and enter into the palace of the king. In place of fathers, O king, you will have sons. You shall make them princes over all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore nations will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> when the Lord your God thrusts them out before you, do not say, it is because of my righteousness that the Lord has brought me in to occupy this land. It is rather because of the wickedness of these Asian nations that the Lord is dispossessing them before you. It is not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart that you are going in to occupy their land. But because of the wickedness of these nations, the Lord your God is dispossessing them before you in order to fulfill the promise that the Lord made on oath to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know then that the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to occupy because of your righteousness, for you are a stubborn people. Remember and do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness, you have been rebellious against the Lord from the day you came out of the land of Egypt until you came to this place. Even at Horeb, you provoked the Lord to wrath, and the Lord was angry and you, with you that he was ready to destroy you. When I went up the mountain to receive the stone tablets, the tablets of the covenant that the Lord made with you, I remained on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. And the Lord gave me two stone tablets written with the finger of God. On them were all the words that the Lord had spoken to you at the mountain out of the fire on the day of the assembly. 
At the end of forty days and forty nights, the Lord gave me the two stone tablets, the tablets of the covenant. Then the Lord said to me, go down, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you have brought from Egypt have acted corruptly. They have been quick to turn to the way that I commanded them and I turn away from the way that I commanded them. They have cast an image for themselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 13, a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers, you are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from John's Gospel. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, what, can, what sign can you show us for doing this? And Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had talked about. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dignitas. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations, and as you know the weakness of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, and all assaults of our enemies, that, surely trusting in your defense, we may not fear the powers of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the Church. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs, intentions, and intercessions before the Lord and ask for his forgiveness, his indulgence, and his mercy. Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom, as we move through the world, show the world you move through us. Keep us faithful to your teachings, and never let us be parted from you. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that we two or three are gathered together in his name. You will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power, working in us, can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God, from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Please join us again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. as we continue the daily office. God bless you. I hope you are having a holy Lent and reflecting and praying and uh, turning your thoughts inward so that you can make changes. We can make changes outward, which leads me to say, leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. God bless you. Be safe. Be kind. Be gracious. God bless you.